Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Biddy, and today I'll be giving my full review on Amazon's upcoming sandbox MMORPG, New World. It is a PC exclusive and is set to be released in early 2021. The game itself is set in the mid 1600s and you play as a character that is pitted against the wilderness of Edernum, a mysterious island discovered during the Twilight Age of Exploration. New World allows you to carve your own destiny with other players in a living, hostile, and cursed land. Overcome the brutal legions of the corruption, or draw battle lines with competing players in this land of danger and opportunity. I was given an opportunity to play through the preview of New World thanks to Arsenal GG and Leviacore. Thank you so much again for providing me a code. After 20 plus hours of playing this game firsthand, I can say it's definitely an MMORPG I will enjoy. The game itself reminds me a lot of the Elder Scrolls due to its combat system, Black Desert Online or World of Warcraft with skill tree system, Final Fantasy XIV for the crafting system and gathering system, and even Guild Wars 2 for the world versus world aspect for the open world combat that factions can have while trying to take over the lands and keep control. Overall, it's a very unique MMORPG experience that will satisfy any MMO player new or old. I definitely would recommend it. And here's the rest of my review. Here you can see your character, which starts off as a randomly generated character. You can choose to be a male or female for your body shape. There is sadly not a non-binary option, but I do hope they potentially consider one in the future. You can choose a base face, your skin tone, your hair, hair color, and facial hair. At this moment in time, since it's a preview of the game, the customization of your character is bare to none. I hope that we see more customization options such as sliders to fully adjust facial features, eye color, and more when the game is fully released so you can customize your character to be more personalized and to your liking. And now we begin the tutorial for New World. The tutorial is a bit more hands-on so you get a feel for the combat and movement of the game straight away. Players who have played games such as The Elder Scrolls, Dragon Age, and The Witcher should feel generally at home with these controls since they are very similar in style to most fantasy RPGs. You use your WASD keys to move, your mouse for light attacks, heavy attacks, and to block, as well as your keyboard for various key bindings which you can adjust to suit your playstyle. You'll be using your key bindings for things such as spells, to swap your weapons, as well as to eat food, tonics, potions, and more. So make sure you're comfortable with your key bindings accordingly. In New World, as you level, you'll gain attribute points. You can allocate these points into Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, Focus, and Constitution. In New World, you don't choose a class when you play. Instead, you allocate points and use weapons to create the type of character you want to be instead. Additionally, outside of attribute points, when you use specific weapons, you'll gain weapon mastery towards them. Once you reach a weapon mastery level up, you can then spend your point you earn to your weapon skill tree. Each weapon comes with two skill trees that you can choose from. In the New World Preview, we have the pleasure of trying out eight different weapons, each with their own two skill trees. Outside of these weapons, that were shown in the preview, one hand rapiers, two hand swords, two hand great axes, pole arms, spears, maces, two hand staffs of other magical schools, magical gauntlets, Pistols and torches have been teased and may be added after New World's game release. Once you finish the tutorial, you'll wash up ashore at your new leveling area. Your leveling area you will start in will depend on the server and world you choose. Make sure you choose wisely if there's a specific settlement you want to gain reputation in before making your way to other settlements to level up, do jobs, and more. This is a great thing to do for players that want to establish their company in town own a house, and more. Mind you, settlement rates will be ever-changing, because in New World, company and factions will be constantly clashing for control. Outside of leveling up your character and weapons, you can also level up various trade and gathering skills. You can level up things such as leatherworking, smithing, furnishing, gathering, skinning, and mining. Gathering materials and refining resources and also crafting items is a vital part of New World. Even if you fully don't dive into this part of the game, it's a great way to craft your own gear, make some money on the player ran trade posts, and also just have materials to craft things as needed. 
Last but not least, I would like to talk about the New World companies and factions. In New World, guilds are known as companies. They are player in, and companies can take over settlements around the world. Additionally, players can also join factions. You can join the Marauder faction, who are green on the map, the Covenant, who are yellow on the map, and the Syndicate, who are purple on the map. The game does warn you about this, but when you go to join a faction, ensure that you and your friends are under the same faction if you tend to be in the same company together. Otherwise, you will not be able to join the same company if you are in opposing factions. And that is the end of my New World preview review. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm very excited for this game and I cannot wait for it to be released in 2021. If you are interested in seeing more content, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. And check out my description down below if you'd like to find me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, you name it. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!